Todd, it was just 10 months ago, Ludwig Oberg was a senior at Texas Tech, wrapping up his college career. A lot's happened in 10 months. Now mm -hmm. the 10th ranked player in the world. We just saw a winner on the PGA Tour. How have you done so much so quickly in professional golf? <laughs> um, good question. I don't really know myself. Um, no, but I'm, I mean, I'm all, I've always been confident in, in my capabilities and my abilities to, uh, to play good golf. Um, and it's just been a lot, I guess, dealing off the golf course and around the golf course um, since I turned pro. But at the end of the day, I try to view it as, you know, it's just me and my 14 clubs, and that's, uh, that's not going to change. With so much success comes expectations, not only from yourself, but from others. How do you deal with that and find the good balance? Yeah, it's, it's a balance. I mean, um, I've, I'm always going to have very high expectations on myself as well. Um, that's not going to change. But I think, you know, being OK with a lot coming at you at the same time and, and be OK with being a little bit overwhelmed at times, I think, has been key for me. Um, obviously, you know, I, I try not to... to pay that much attention to it it's just it is what it is and I guess it's kind of what you sign up for when you play professional sports um, and and I've just been very fortunate to put myself in this position to uh, to feel that um, I guess expectation whatever you want to call it growing up in Sweden learning the game what was a typical day like for you <laughs> practicing playing or I'm sure plenty of days where you had no opportunity yeah to do I mean so. the, the summer times were great obviously the summertime in Sweden is, is great um, long days and I, I never really practiced that much I just played um, and I'm actually like last couple of months and weeks of trying to going back to that a little bit I try to play as much as I can in my practice and I think it's so easy to get stuck on the range hitting seven irons where that's not really how you play the game. Obviously, it's very important to do that as well, but there is a time and place for it. And um, I always played a lot when I grew up with my friends, with my family. And um, I think that's what made me realize how fun this game is. If it wasn't golf, it was a lot of soccer. Maybe your first love <laughs> growing up. What was it about that sport that you enjoyed? Yeah, um, I'm still a big I guess soccer, I call it football, um, <laughs> controversial, but uh, I'm still a big football fan. I watch as much as I can and I try to play. Um, I think football is the biggest sport where I grew up, so naturally I started playing that. And um, I just felt very, you know, free when I played football. It was a lot of fun and um, it's uh, something that I enjoy watching to this day. What are your relationships like with the guys out here, especially the Swedes and international players, mm -hmm. as I know you've got a roommate <laughs> back in Tallahassee that yeah. uh, you, you spend some time with? Yeah, I mean, we're me and Vinny, Vincent Norman, we're great friends. Um, he asked me if I wanted to hop in his guest room, and I said, yeah, definitely. Um, I think it's uh, it's been great ever since we uh, since we did that. and. Uh, obviously, Tallahassee is a nice place and a great golf course. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, I feel like I feel I felt very welcomed, very warm welcome since I came out here and started playing these events, and uh, I felt very, you know, fortunate to be able to play in Rome, where I was able to create a relationship with a lot of those guys, and um, it's uh, it's definitely something that I've benefited from. Why are the big moments seemingly not so big for you? Um, maybe on the outside, I, I think on the inside, it still feels very, um, I guess, nerve wracking, stressful, however you want to call it. But, um, once again, I try to, I try to embrace it. I try not to shy away from it. I think ever since I turned pro, I've had a lot of those experiences where it's the first time I'm doing it and it's very different from what I've experienced before, but I obviously try to, uh, I try to I try not to fight it I think as soon as you start fighting it I think you get yourself in trouble um, I just try to embrace it I try to have fun with it and make sure that um, I'm enjoying it really how are you in terms of setting goals things you want to achieve in 2024 and beyond um, I'm I'm more into the process goals more than anything I feel like if I do these things that I know I can improve on I think the rest will kind of take care of itself I think um, I obviously feel like there's a lot for me to improve on, and if I can work on that, put my head down, and make sure that you know I spend some time doing those things, I think um, you know I'll be I'll be fine. Ludwig, always good to catch up. Enjoy the week. Play well. Thank you.